Hepworth Classic Old Ale. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got another Old Ale here today. I've just tried the Wadworth Old Ale and that was absolutely superb. And it's very, very unusual that I have two Old Ales on the trot. But I've managed to accumulate that one and this one from the Hetworth & Co Brewers. Now, I only bought this on the strength of their really, really good pale ale. Now, if you look at the review that's up there already of the Hepworth Pale Ale, that is one of the best British pale ales I have tasted in a hell of a long time. It's definitely up there with the Timothy Taylor stuff, which, in my opinion, is one of the best. Now, the Timothy Taylor stuff I have tried on draft and I've tried it in the bottle. Really good in both. And the Hepworth stuff was fantastic out of the bowl. I can only imagine what it's like out of a cask. So on the strength of that, I bought quite a few of their beers. Now, I bought an IPA from them, traditional British IPA that came through today and this stuff here this classic old ale which they're selling as well now I had to buy that regardless in if I could only buy another beer from that brewery it would be old ale it's my favorite style of British beer very underrated style very un unknown style you know it's not the first beer that people will talk about if you talk about British beers usually they'll say bitters maybe even golden ales and then pale ales and ipas and old ale i don't even think it it registers with them to be honest but it's a fantastic style of beer it's where all british beers originated from regardless of you know your pale ales your ipas this is the sort of thing that it originated from in the 18th century this is how beer was served up and you'd get varying styles you'd get what they called young and they called stale stale was the stuff that had matured because the beer wasn't the beer wasn't matured in the brewery it was given to the landlords and you know you had pot luck it could vary from pub to pub or in to in as they were known then but we are where we are now and i'm sitting here with a bottle of this classic old ale now hepworth are from sussex not too far from that hellhole that is called brighton I'm, do, do I rant about Brighton again and the fucking traffic wardens? No, I really shouldn't. I've ranted enough about, <laughs> I've ranted, ranted enough about them bastards in the, uh, in the pale ale review. Needless to say, I fucking hate the place. I'd wipe it off the face of the earth and dump the remnants in France because the two deserve each other. But there you go. Relax. Fucking relax, will you? You've got an old ale in your hand. Now, as I say, Hepworth from Sussex. I haven't got much information on the brewery. There isn't much on the website about when they started, but they have been winning awards since I think 2006. So I think it's a fair assumption that they were formed in the, the early 2000s. I stand to be corrected. If somebody can correct me on that, please do, but I can't find much information, certainly not from their website anyway. And I tend not to go onto other reviews before I review beer. I don't want to be influenced by anyone else. I want to make my own mind up give you my honest opinion. But this stuff looks really good and I can't wait to try it. So let's get it sorted out. Right, it is a 500ml bottle. It is 4.8%. Now they call it an old ale. I would be looking at over 5% to be honest, to even consider it an old ale. The, the ESBs, you could argue there is a fine line. I don't normally class ESBs as old ale. Old ales for me are, as I said in the other video as well, the Wadworth video, I normally class them as winter warmers, old ales, genuine old ales, and barley wines. 
The barley wines, personally, this is a personal thing, don't get me wrong, there is no hard and fast rule on this. The lines are very blurred, but for me personally, I like to categorise the higher ABV, old, older style ales as barley wines. You know, the, the Adnams Tally Ho is a perfect example of a barley wine. Still comes under the old ale umbrella. Old Tom is another one as well. And the, you know, the, the lower ABVs stuff, the old Peculiar, the old Timer from Wadworth, and yeah, well, this stuff, it, this just even falls below the 5%. So, a session old ale. Now, there is a contradiction in terms because that is not what really, not what you're supposed to do with old ale. Old ale is very rich and it's one of them beers where, again, this is a personal thing, one or two is just enough to savour and it does everything everything for me because it's so flavour intense. The body is big on it and you really don't need to keep necking it. You can if you want, you know, you'll probably end up rat arsed, but <laughs> where's, the, where's the problem there? I can't see one. Anyway, let's just, I'm just going to read the bit on the back before I go into the tasting and all that. It says, old ale is classic brown ale. Yeah, but you shouldn't really confuse brown ale with old ale. I wouldn't class the two as the same. If this is trying to be an old, if if this is trying to be a brown ale, they really shouldn't have called it old ale. But for me, old ale is a style of beer. Brown ale is a different style of beer that usually comes from the north of England. You know, Yorkshire and above, Newcastle, Tynan Weir, Teesside maybe. That for me is where brown ale originates from. But I'm, I'm assuming they're just using brown ale as an adjective to say this is a brown coloured ale, not brown ale as in the style. Old ale is classic brown ale, pure and simple. Old ale is, is a Sussex traditional winter brew bottled for all year round and, and appreciation. Dark and full of roast malt character that is balanced with luscious sweetness and the bitterness of admiral, ad, admiral, <laughs> admirable, <laughs> admiral hops. This beer can be served slightly mulled. Well, fuck that, because that's what they do to wine. And you know what I think of wine? Hey, fuck off. Contains wheat and Sussex grown barley, brewed to be gluten free. Nice. They do make a big thing about their green credentials and they do make a big thing about using locally sourced ingredients, which I think is brilliant. Adnams do the same. And as I said in the last video, if they're that keen or they care that much about the environment and locally sourced ingredients, usually the beer is good. I was proved right with the pale ale. Let's hope I'm gonna be proved right with this. So let's get this cap off and let's get this beer tasted. Right, please don't let me down. I've built this up to be so good and I'm really hoping there's the cap. I'm really hoping it's going to be a good one. Now, the, the Wadworth stuff, the old timer, that was good. I didn't think it was as good as Old Peculiar. And as things stand, Old Peculiar is the benchmark for me as being the best old ale style beer at the moment. But that crown is up for grabs. That looks really nice. That head retention is really good. And the reason I give it a bit of an aggressive pour because on the Wadworth stuff, it was a little bit lacking, but this, this looks really good. What are we getting on the nose? Oh yeah, that's lovely. Masses of toffee, toffee malt and chocolate malt. And I can get that hot bitterness as well. The dark earth, dark malt, the earthiness and the spiciness as well. Oh, this smells really good. It's very earthy though. So that hop content, usually I'd be expecting a bit more fruit, but this seems to be a bit more hoppy. Hmm, it does smell good. It doesn't say it's bottle conditioned at 4.8%. I wouldn't have thought it'd be bottle conditioned, but you know, I have been known to be proved wrong. There it is in the glass. That is a very, that looks, Oh, you can you can probably see it, can you? That is a very, very dark ruby colour. That's what I'd be expecting from an old ale, that colour. As I say, I, I would have expected a little bit more sweetness on the aroma, but the 
proof is in the tasting. Bottoms up. Mm. Yeah, this has got a hell of a lot more of the hop character, the British hop character in it than the Wadworth and the old peculiar stuff. It's not bad, I will say that. The roasted malt on this is really big. And Mark, subscriber on the channel, if you're watching, do you remember when your missus said about the, she tried a, a porter, I think it was, she said it tastes like fag ash. That's what this is tasting like. Now that sounds really bad, but in dark beers, that's actually quite a good trait in my opinion, because what that signifies to me is very, very dark, roasted malt, almost possibly even black malt. I don't know if it, does it say black malt in here? Um, no, it doesn't. But it's it's got that almost porterish style flavour to it. But if you're expecting dark fruit, there really isn't much of that at all. In fact, it's so heavy with roasted malt. In a blindfold test, I'd say this was this was like a session porter. Finish does last long. It's quite quite bitter. Very very hoppy. Typically British hoppy as well. But to me, it's a little disappointing because I'd be expecting a little bit more sweetness in this. And, you know, if there's a scale of sweetness in old ale, this is right at the other end. In fact, I would argue that this is more like an ESB, even though the ABV is a little bit lower. It's like a very intense bitter, which is not bad, don't get me wrong. There's, it, it sounds like I'm knocking it, but to call it old ale, I would ex be expecting some more sweetness on it, and it hasn't got that, unfortunately. Um, slight disappointment there. But it's a, a reasonably good beer, all the same, and I probably would drink this again, but yeah, it's, to me it's more in keeping with an ESB, the characteristic of it, the bitter finish on it, the hop bitterness on the finish, the roasted malt, if they laid off the roasted malt slightly and, you know, kept the finish, that would be a, a really good ESB, but the the roasted malt is it's turning into a hybrid between, you know, porter and ESB. And I think they've got a little bit confused there. It's very full bodied, I will say that. The mouthfeel is slightly nicer. It goes down a little bit smoother. The, the carbonation isn't in as intense, but, hmm. That roasted malt, the the ashtray roasted malt flavour, it's just not making it taste like a an old ale. I know there's going to be variants on a style, and at the moment this is probably the bitterest old ale I've tasted. And I don't think it comes close to the Adnams Talio, certainly not the old peculiar, and even the Wadworth stuff. And that's a shame because your pale ale 
from this lot was so good. Oh, that that has left me slightly disappointed. So what's the verdict on Hepworth & Co Brewers Classic Old Ale? Well, I really expected a lot from this because the pale ale was absolutely superb. And I thought, this lot no beer and they're gonna get this bang on and this is gonna be another contender. And it sadly wasn't. But, I am judging it against what I, in my opinion is one of the best old ales and that's Old Peculiar. There could be an argument, and you know, unless people have tasted that style, this really is what beer tasted like back then in the 18th century. I wouldn't say it tasted exactly the same, but it had that roasted malt flavor. There was a, you know, when they started adding the hops and they became popular, there was that bitterness on it. And if it had matured in the bottle, it would have tasted a bit like that. To me, it's a mixture between an ESB, like three quarters of an ESB and some porter thrown in. That to me is what it's tasting like. And they're saying, I'm just looking at the back, it says dark and full of roast malt character. It definitely is that. Yeah, they've got that right. That is balanced with luscious sweetness and the bitterness of Admiral Hops. I'm not getting the sweetness. I'm getting definitely getting the bitterness from the Admiral, Admirable. <laughs> Fucking got to stop saying it. Admiral Hops. But the the sweetness, I'm definitely not getting. There's no trace of sweetness in this whatsoever. Nah. No, I'm really not getting that. It's just roasted malt, hot bitterness. That's what I'm getting. I wouldn't drink that mold either. Fuck that. Who's gonna drink warmed up beer? Fuck off. That's something the French should do. So what's the verdict for it? Well, I don't know, do you know, it's not a bad beer in its own right. And if they called it an ESB, uh, a double ESB, I'd say, yeah, if they bang that fucking nail right in. But to call it old ale, I just think they're lacking the sweetness. And I don't think they've put this invert sugar in, which you do get in some old ales, which may have gone a little bit to balance it out. Just a little, a smidgen of it would have balanced it out and that would have been really nice. It would have had the perfect balance of sweetness and bitterness on it, but it hasn't. I'm gonna give it, all things considered, it's not a bad beer in its own right. I'm slightly disappointed because I was expecting an old ale. I'm gonna give it eight out of 10 because it is still a good beer. And I would not turn down another bottle of this again because it does taste nice. However, I'd need to put myself in the mind frame that I'm not drinking what I would perceive to be an old ale. I'm drinking a, a hybrid of a what I consider to be like a an ESB with a bit of porter in there as well. You know, that roasted malt is giving it a porter type characteristic to it. But it's not bad. I will say that, all things considered, you know, if you if you take the pedantry out of it that I'm displaying at the moment and just drink this for what it is. It is not a bad beer. I will say that. Yeah, it's perfectly acceptable. Very full bodied as well. I think the wheat that they put in that has given that the body. But yeah, all things considered, I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. Um, would I recommend it? If you're really after an old ale, don't go for this. If you like intense bitters, but you're not a fan of you know, the, the full-on stout or the, the full-on porter, then I'd say go for this. But it's okay, it's not a bad beer. Eight out of 10, recommended with caution if you're a fucking pedant like me. And remember, don't go to Brighton, don't drink French beer. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>